that. I fed it back to him just as you <laughs> say it. He's taking it. I fed it back. <laughs> The Columbia River Gorge is a spectacular river canyon. The Columbia is uh, the great river of the West. It is an incredible river with a lot of uh, food, different food sources. The gorge passes right through the Cascade Mountain Range at, at a sea level passage. It's more than a natural wonder. It is a critical transportation corridor. Uh, home to 52,000 people, dependent on resources, uh, there's farms and schools. It's also a major recreation destination for visitors as well as residents. In 1986, President Reagan signed into law an act creating the 292,500 acre Columbia River Gorge National Scenic Area. And what that did is it marked a turning point that did not create a wilderness or a park, instead it allowed for existing rural and scenic characteristics to be retained, at the same time encouraging compatible growth and development within the 13 urban areas that are held within this, um, this great reserve. We circled out of the side channel to anchor in 15 feet of water. We fished for shad to start off with. Now shad, the run starts, it enters the river in May and by June it is going full force and the sturgeon really move upstream with the shad run and they're, the shad become a great food source for the sturgeon. They just follow them up, they're behind them like clockwork and so the, the shad are up there to spawn. They're casting their eggs on the water and dispersing them and the sturgeon are right behind them and when the shad die the sturgeon are there to eat them and the biggest of the big can suck down a whole shad and so that's what we're fishing for today are these big oversized sturgeon. We're using whole shad. Two, three, four pound shad as bait. Steve Leonard is the owner of Steve's Guided Adventures and um, for th this trip after we got down and had caught some shad we headed downstream to one of his favorite spots right off the main channel, fast water and we set up there, put our baits in, we're in uh, about 43 feet of water, put our baits down, pulled back to the anchor and tied off to the anchor and it was in five minutes, the rod starts bouncing. Christy grabbed the rod, pulled it out of the rod holder and set the hook. And she was into what we knew was a huge fish. That's, that's the biggest fish of your life. That's the biggest fish. <laughs> okay, here we go. We got to We got to You're okay. You're okay. Let's get a bite. <laughs> Bonneville Dam is like a big blender. It's turbines chop and the river downstream fills with food. Sturgeon can be found year-round in the shadow of the dam, but the best big fish action follows the summer shad run and then continues into the fall when the steelhead and the salmon move up. In May, June, and July, shad are running upstream, and a large percentage of these shad die after spawning and become sturgeon feed through the rest of the summer. 
But this good fishing will continue all the way through the fall. That's a good bite. Sometimes I'll just barely take it. This one here just really was on it, started taking drag, and that's the kind of bite that we want. He's teasing me. He's like, oh yeah, I'll come in. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna fall. Slippery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't pull me in, fish. <laughs> Wouldn't that be bad? <laughs> Girl overboard. You're making a blooper video out of it. <laughs> How far down do you think he is still? Uh, hard down. 45 feet of water, so just straight down to like 50 feet if you left. I'm so hot. <laughs> How long do they usually do this up and down thing for? Hour. You're 15 minutes into it now. Woo! Oh, man. <laughs> you'll have to go over and tie your shoes when you get done. <laughs> no, I won't be able to do anything. <laughs> I'll be like triple for a week. <laughs> I got some Advil with me. <laughs> Thank God! <laughs> I get a lot of guys in this boat to bring them with them, so don't feel bad. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. <laughs> oh, man. They get dumb and they're popping the Advil and the ibuprofen. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Did you just see that? Yeah, I watched it. What happened? He's like... He's shaking his head. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is a two-hander. <laughs> That's... That's no fun. <laughs> Right there, he's really close. That's a big boil. Yeah, it was. He's really close, Christy. Yeah. Right here. Well, yeah, I see something too. Oh, There's man. a fish. What a fish. What a fish. Woo! Woo! Yeah. What do I do now? Hold on. How big is that thing? We're gonna measure him. I'd have to say he's just over seven. Closer to eight. Close. Okay, Christy, get down here and get a picture with you before we something happens here. Christy and her second fish. <laughs> Sturgeon that yeah, is. What a, what a fish awesome fish. I'm gonna say he's eight feet, 250 pounds, he's a male. White sturgeon. Very prehistoric. This fish is probably 60 years old. See how his, his dorsal fin back here is a little bit? Uh -huh. They put wire tags in and when they do research, and it looks like the tag got pulled out. Like touching it is like the weirdest feeling fish ever. What a cool fish. He did a really, really good job getting him in. He's really yeah. healthy, he's not wore out. 20 minutes too. Thank you, I'm really tough like that. Yeah, you <laughs> Whenever you're ready, we can turn him belly side yep. down. Don't let him go until he's ready. He'll be ready. Make sure he's good. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> that was rad. Thank you. You're welcome. Way to go. Yeah, <laughs> good fight too. At 20 minutes and done. Muscle. That's right. That's Ear power. Like that come in. <laughs> Girl power for you. What can I say? <laughs>
Lodge is a magnificent resort located um, on 175 acres in the Columbia River Gorge scenic area. It's rustic, it's elegant, it's a mountain lodge 45 miles east of Portland, Oregon on the Washington side of the Columbia River. It was built in 1993. It's got a design in the four-story Cascadian style with high-pitched roofs and a lot of interesting uses of timbers and black wrought iron. The lobby and gorge room surround an 85-foot tall fireplace which is made of rock excavated from an abandoned quarry uh, nearby. A few miles upstream from Beacon Rock on the Washington side of the river, Skamania Lodge was a great place from which to launch our quest for big sturgeon. Oh, yeah. all right. Well, these were shakers, you know, they're shakers and bakers. Undersized, we call shakers. Okay. Now I can show you on this fish the difference of the buttons on them is how sharp they are. If you look at this, if you, if you run your hands, these, this one's actually wore down a little bit, but these these little buttons are really sharp. And you can go this way and it's not a problem, but if you go from the tail Ooh, to the head, yeah. it's kind of their little protection. What's look at look at the patterns on the front of the head here. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that something? Yeah. They got real pretty eyes and their mouths come down when they're feeding. Oh yeah. So they can kind of feed on the bottom. They got these little whiskers that hang down. That's what they're feeling their food with. Yeah. Smelling their food. In the with. bottom and stuff. And then there's their noses right here. Look, this is very sensitive. Very. Yeah. And their eyes, they do a lot of feeding at night. We used to be able to fish for them at night and it was just dynamite. Very, very tough fish. Now this one here, we've had a lot of sea lions in here feeding on fish. Looks like this one got attacked by a sea lion and you can see some marks oh. here where he actually was gripped right here by one and he got away from it. The sea lions, the stellar sea lions are causing a big problems in here right now. And the sturgeon ain't endangered and neither are the, the stellar so they're doing nothing about it, but they're actually hitting our big brood stock. The fish like you caught, they've been hitting those fish and that's the problem we're gonna have in the future. Yeah. It takes so long for them to come back right. before they notice a problem. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be years. Yep. That's a cool, it makes like a little pig noise. Yeah, that pig. <laughs> Sturgeon hammer. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, man, he's on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll look at my watch. said you wanted to get it. It's two o'clock right now. Christy Titus is five foot two and a half inches tall, and this young lady put the power to this fish. I had never seen a sturgeon come in so fast. One of these big, oversized sturgeons come in so fast. So after that, then. Just, Christy said to me, Gary, if you get one on, you're going to have to fight it in faster than I do, than I did. And so I laughed, but I heard her, I heard the warning, I heard the challenge, and when my rod started to bounce and line began to rip off the reel, I picked it up and thumbed the spool and set the hook. There was no way to tell how big it was. I just knew I had to have that thing to the boat in 20 minutes or less. feet back, a sturgeon shook its head back and forth and I could feel it in my body as I'm holding on to that big ugly stick. I could feel it rocking back and forth in my shoulders. That braided line transmitting all that power to the ugly stick rod. Every time I gained five feet of line it pulled 20 feet back out. 
We unhooked from the buoy. We still don't know how big this fish is. And this fish just holding to the bottom. I was able to gain a little bit of line as we slipped backward with the current. But the line was taut as a banjo string. And so I plucked the line with my thumb and my forefinger and made a little twang and I twanged it again and just started picking out a little tune and pretty soon that big big old fish started coming up and I was able to gain some line on it. As soon as I gained some line it started dogging me again and holding down there and I started twanging the line some more and and he started coming up. Be able to see him. Oh yeah, look at that fish. Woo! Oh, man. Oh my god. Oh. Give me a favor, pull some taunt to pull this leader. Just pull a little bit of tension on okay. it. Not the weight. Yeah, that'll work. Look, okay, hey, what, what, right there. Got it? Yep. Did you get a measure out of you think? Well, I had his tail here, but you were up. I had him at, here up at the nine. Yeah. I'm going to say he's nine, nine foot, two inches. <laughs> that fish was over 400 pounds, probably 500. Yeah. Good Man, job. that was big. Shoot. But I didn't have to bring that one in. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a little big for me. <laughs> I was thinking this would have been a good one for Christy. Yeah. <laughs> I would have liked to have watched this one. <laughs> Man, nine feet two inches long. And we guided her alongside and I looked at my watch. It was 15 minutes. That was the fastest I've ever been able to bring in one of these big fish. Looked like a big female. We let her rest alongside the boat for a few minutes. And then uh, when she was ready to go, we let her go and she kicked away. The bigger a sturgeon gets, the bigger a big female gets, the more eggs she'll be able to carry. And the better the potential that anglers a hundred years from now will be prospecting the Great River for a brush with these prehistoric fish, these dinosaurs of the river.
Gary Lewis's clothing provided by Guide's Choice. Guide's Choice for Adventure. Guide service provided by Steve's Guided Adventures. Go to stevesguidedadventures.com or call 800-872-6941. Accommodations provided by Skamania Lodge. Visit skamania.com or call 800-221-7117. When it comes to fishing the Northwest, no place offers more sport fishing excitement than Central Oregon. Now, Outdoor Films presents the first DVD featuring how, when, and where to fish many of the productive and scenic waters of Central Oregon. Fishing Central Oregon, the DVD Volume 1, features author and outdoorsman Gary Lewis with local guides and special guests in search of the elusive steelhead, aggressive German browns, huge rainbow trout, and more. Fishing Central Oregon, the DVD Volume 1, available now at fishingcentraloregon.com.